As I was driving home, I noticed a house on fire. And I noticed I didn't have my cell phone on me. So I went across the street and started pounding on the neighbor's door. I then went back to the house, grabbed a garden, garden hose. By then, the neighbor was coming across. At that point, I noticed the vehicle, the wheelchair, and knew somebody was inside. It was about 8.30 in the morning, and I hear a pounding on my door. And as I ran upstairs to find out what was going on, I opened up the door to see a gentleman running away from my house. And my attention was immediately drawn towards my neighbor Deloitte's house that was on fire. I ran outside, and I ran up to the door, and I opened up the door, not really knowing what to expect. And it, the smoke just came out and hit me and actually set me back a couple steps. The next thing I did was got on my hands and knees and crawled in, actually more about belly crawled, into the house because the smoke was so thick and was yelling his name trying to find out if I could even locate where he was. As I was spraying water on the flames, I noticed the smoke elevating off the floor. I then heard a moan. As he caught his breath, he started moaning, and Michael Medina yells out, I can, hear, I can hear someone in there. And at that point, I ran back up on the steps and ran into the house, or got down on my knees and crawled back into the house and was able to see him because the smoke had risen enough that I could see a little bit better. And I grabbed him and pulled him to a certain point, and then Michael Medina also came in there and helped me pull him out, finished pulling him all the way out. At that point, Ross and I ran in, grabbed him by the shoulders, and pulled him out of the home. I want to thank Michael for being in the right place at the right time and alerting me to that fire and for me having the opportunity to going in and actually saving Deloitte's life. I would like to say, uh, Ross, thank you for being there with me to help, him, help me pull this man out and he's going to be okay.